morning YouTubers, how's it going? If you, if you did like this video, please go ahead, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button, please. If you're going to enjoy this video, make sure you watch it and stuff, okay? So I just want to talk about one thing about um, this fat tire box plus the trailer this morning. Um, obviously it has 26 inch rims, fat tires, really good for mudding if you like off-roading and stuff of course like I do. Now for other stuff you want like if you want cargo carrier behind you to your camping site or something. Now this is the trailer that you need right here of course 220 pounds of max weight or 100 kilograms now this is a 12 speed bike which is one of the good ones I like mongoose but has no shocks on it at all but hey that's fine still good obviously it has LEDs which I put on personal, personally it has amazing disc brakes for both back and front perfect for off-roading and muddy of course but what there's one problem though there's no tr but there's no brakes on the trailer that's the catch but you can add the tr uh, brakes to the on this specific design on the fat tire trailer mongoose if you want to add the brakes you have to but let me grab my camera and kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about real quick which is, these are the close-up of the disc brakes right here. You can add the uh, braking mechanism here all the way. You can have it where it's going through here, up onto a brake on the tire. You have the disc brake on here if you wanted to add it, of course, if you can. I'm saying if you wanted to, you can probably figure, figure out a way if you wanted to. Um, that's just my idea of doing it. But there's multiple di different ways, of course, if if that's even a thing. The ones who are watching this video may know more stuff about that than me. How to add braking, all of that stuff. And also I have a... I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know how, I swear. Is that I want I want to spell it out as S C H W I N N. I want to spell that out again. It's S C H W I N N. That part right here can hold up to 22.5 pounds max, which is pretty good if you want to add a couple of things of pizza. If you're a pizza lover, if you're like in down in Florida or states like that that does allow you to ride bikes and forth in the city. If you, if you want to bring pizza to your friends at the house and you don't have the car or something, which I understand that, but if you want to bring pizza, hey, put it up on right here. Which is, can hold it quite a lot. Which is, you can add it behind the seat right here, which is added on to the pole of the seat. Now if you want to bring cooler down to the beach, if you love the beach, now this is the tr trailer you're talking about, carrier tr cooler, like a Yeti cooler or something. Towels, floats, stuff like that, up to 220 pounds or, or 100 kilos. Now I, I physically took this bike out on the beach once or on the sand. Oh my, I had it. It worked in first gear, but on the, on the seventh gear, no good, you won't even move, but in first gear, it was so easy to like just go through the water, the sand. It was like basically having who bigger tires than this, just like just like floating on clouds, basically going for the one way like that. And I have a couple of uh, stickers on here. Life is good. I broke out video games. Coastal sticker. Shout out to all three of those there. Even a Bose to shout out. I have a Bose bike a sticker tag from Alabama, which I added the word Bose. I'm a huge Bose fan. Speaker brand. They're like one, you know, good quality sound. 
That's why I named this after them. But I don't have a copyright on that. But I'm giving I'm giving credit to them to inspire me to put that name right here to name this a Bose bike. But does not this bike does, is not copyrighted by them at all. I want to put that out now. I just use the name and Bose. Please don't sue me or anything for that. If you're watching this, please don't sue me. I'm just, I just was inspired by y'all to use that name to put on here because I'm a huge fan of y'all. And I have quite a few Bose speakers of, from y'all. Bose V100 Surround Video, uh, Bose Solo 5, and so Sound Touch 10, which I got over the years and stuff. But the Solo 5, something happened to it. That's that's how I got the Sound Touch 10 plus the floor span, all white. And I I will admit it now, it sounds amazing. And uh, this when you first when I first ordered this off the eBay, I cannot say the name who I bought it from due to legal reasons and stuff because I don't want to get myself in trouble or him in trouble through eBay or with the judge or anything like that either. I just want to keep that private. But uh, I will put a description of this later on after I post this, while I post this video, I'll put a description where I, only from eBay, where I showed where I got it from, but I will blur out the name and stuff, but I will put eBay, that's it. That's what I will do, so y'all know where I can get it from. Um, these are like one of those, uh, you would think this is one of those yuppie, ti yuppie city tires, but I promise you they're not. They're mountain terrain tires. You can use them for mud. Hey, it'll do just fine. To get through really good grip through mud, it would be easy just like that. Now the disc brakes. Oh my gosh, I never had I never had to replace them. Basically, I had this box since 2017, and those disc brakes were still working perfectly. So, like next video I may do with this box, I may add a brake to this so I can have better uh, braking power because this uh, bike weighs 33.8 pounds. That's not including the 220 pound carrying weight or 100 kilograms. But there is, there's something else that's not showing in this video here. It's the little uh, protector that goes about from here to out to here, which is hooks up to these two right here. I don't have those on right now. Because I don't know why they won't go on, but I'll figure it out later. If next time you see them on here, that's when I already figured them out, of course. Uh, the one thing, the one thing is really hard to do with this box is no uh, wheelies and stuff because it's mainly just for bike, hike, um, off roading or uh, carrying stuff behind stuff like that and stuff. And I want to put this out now. This trailer right here is an unbranded trailer, which means has, it does have copyright, whoever made it, but has no name basically. It's all, no uh, company name that I know of at the time. But I do know the origin of it is in Asia, China. So, um, land is called Asia, but the country is called China. I want to put that out now. If you uh, get a little confused, what I'm trying to say here. Now this right here is, you know, cup holder. Put your water bottle on. When you get thirsty, drink, have a little drink. You can probably put a little bit of whiskey in it or beer or something in that water bottle. But it'd probably be really unhealthy or something. But it's probably the best thing to just have water with you at all times. Probably if you want to go for a bike ride out in town at the park or something, you won't. If you have one of these, uh, you can carry a cooler on it, put ice in it, a couple of Gatorades, uh, waters, sodas, have, and
a couple of snacks, probably a sandwich or something, whatever you like. For, if you if they have power out in the park with wall plugs, probably bring yourself a microwave if they allow it, and bring a couple of uh, stuff you can heat up in, have lunch with, with your friends or something. That's just my idea. But you can use that idea too, I don't really care. And please subscribe to my channel, which is Jonah Thompson. Once you see this face right here and see my channel, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, thumbs up, please. Thank you. And please like my videos, because these I'm going to do a whole bunch more videos of stuff like this here, okay? And uh, I'll blur that truck out here before the video. Um, and I will, uh, I don't know why that truck stopped. That's really weird. Uh, look at that truck just turning around. This is getting really creepy here. Um, Lock up. Now, now I can't even think now. I got distracted. Um, and the tire PSI in these are like, I think, 65 PSI, but uh, I could be wrong. If I can find it without, in the uh, next video, I will say what it is and stuff about the box and stuff here. I'll, bl I'll blur that truck out if I can figure it out. And like I said about the shout outs to these three, I forgot to give a shout out to Mongoose. They're the one of the best brands that physically I ever had, honestly. The last Mongoose bike I had was smaller tires than this, but it was like a 24 inch rim. Something like that, but oh my gosh, that thing lasted me for years. I had that thing for like five or six years. It still works today. I gave it to a friend of mine, well, a relative of mine, but I need some done, some stuff done to it besides that it works perfectly. It has original tires on it, and those tires, uh, I don't know if, it's, if they're original now or not, those tires lasted me for like five or six years, no problems, no flats, none of that. And I have this, these are the actual factory set tires from the factory front, and this is a 2017 year model box of Mongoose. These are the original tires. Still, they're like two or three years old, and it's like what, 2019 already? And this is a really good brand. I would recommend this to anyone that's considering a, getting a box for off roading or something. And I would recommend this type of tire. This brand of box, Fat Tire, Mongoose. I would recommend it personally. If you want to do like even more fun stuff, hang out with your friends, but you need to carry your stuff in behind your box, this is a perfect trailer to get off the eBay. I paid seventy nine ninety nine for this trailer for two hundred twenty pound or one hundred kilogram weight, which equals two hundred twenty pounds, which is really awesome. And if I do another video about this box one day. I may show uh, me riding it down the road and stuff, that, either that or the bar park or something. I even may have this trailer with me to show you why I'm even talking about the weight on it, which is totally amazing, which I tried it earlier this morning. I just got it last night at my house. I tried it down the road and back. No problems. It feels like you're basically carrying nothing, basically. But when you go up steep hills like this, you can physically feel that 33.8 pounds behind you in first gear, which is, if you have really strong legs and stuff, like if you're used to having extra weight behind you, hey, that's fine, but when you're first time doing it and stuff, you have you may have to get used to it, so if you may put a little bit extra strain on you, but hey, that's fine too, but yeah, at least you're getting a workout on it, which is totally okay with me, so... And I love being outdoors all the time. Check me out on Instagram. Not Instagram, but check me out 
Check me out on Snapchat, Jonah Thompson 12. Check me out on IEM if you know if you know what that is, which is KBBJ the first or Jonah Thompson. On IEM on Snapchat is Jonah Thompson 12. Um, on uh, Instagram it's King Billy Bob Joe the first. Something, something like that, either that or Jonah Thompson, something like that. I don't remember now, but once I re-download Instagram, have all of that downloaded, I will put it in, in one of my other videos, so you can, so you can add, uh, add me to your Snapchat or your Instagram or something like that. And so, so I can show you what more video clips and more photos about outdoors in the in this type of bot here too. And please also look at my YouTube videos for future videos and past videos too. If you love cats, I do cat videos. If you're into Bigfoot hunting I have Bigfoot hunting videos too. I do all types of videos, stuff like that, all outdoor stuff, including indoors cats, dogs, you name it basically. Stuff like that too. And this is this is the end of this video for today. So deuces.